On Saturday, November 9th, over 100 black men of Howard University gathered at Drew Hall to prepare food and to feed the homeless. I had the chance to talk to Peter Lumenbella, the founder of this initiative, as well as many, many of its participants. Right. I'm here with Peter Lumenbella, yeah, the founder of Black Men Feed DC. This is the first year I heard, right? Yeah, so it's, a, it's actually an initiative, so we're doing this through MOG. Yeah. It's an organization that was built to unite uh, DC, once again, with Howard University. Mm -hmm. uh, MOG is a it's, a, it's an organization that was started in Cover Hall. So students were walking back late mm -hmm. to Cover Hall, and so they wanted to make sure there was like some type of brotherhood to protect yeah. these students as they walked back, but also brotherhood in Cover Hall. Dozens of black men from Howard University gathered together that Saturday to feed the homeless, not only to feed them, but to prepare food for them. Peter Lumenbella created an opportunity not only for community involvement, but it created an opportunity for black men to come together to recognize the value of selflessness and being a part of something bigger than themselves. Hey, Mr. Howard University, Grant Robertson. Tell us what, what brought you out to this event? How did you hear about it? What motivated you to come today? Well, I think that when, when Peter Lubimbello reached out to me, um, I, I realized that you know, providing a forum for black men to come together on this campus is something that's very special. Mm -hmm. About, you know, the campus is only about one third male. And so coming together to encourage one another to move forward in, in servitude and, you know, maintaining strong character is something that, you know, I'll always be behind. And so I'm happy to be here today and happy to support Black Men PDC. That's amazing. How would you define servitude? How would you define service? Acting with intentions that go beyond oneself. Yes, always, you know, doing things that are um, considerate of others mm -hmm. and um, uh, that make a tangible change in somebody else's life. Okay. Yeah. And what has been your favorite part of this event so far, Black Men Feed DC? Obviously, you know, coming together to, to, to do good, yeah. uh, but also just meeting the people, you know, just, you know, meeting some new faces and, you know, working together to, to, to do something positive. I mean, you know, they can't put a price on that. Yeah, sure. Good morning, my name is Jonathan Willard. I'm a senior sports medicine major from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I serve as the president of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated Data Chapter. How did you hear about Black Men Feed DC today? Um, well, our community service chair heard about the opportunity from uh, the founder and president of Black Men Feed DC, so we talked about it at our chapter meeting, both on it. We felt like it was a good event, something that we could definitely participate and contribute to. Um, so, you know, we just wanted to make sure that we could come help make an impact. How would you personally define service? Um, I think service is giving back to those, just giving back, uh, giving back to those that are less fortunate and also giving back to those that are fortunate, um, just overall just giving back. I'm J1 Jones reporting for WHUT, Howard University Television.